Hey, it's Jess back with another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. And this week we are doing the dried flower wine bottle holder mold. I am so excited. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We upload every Wednesday and Friday, and that's the way to get notified. Also, come check out our Facebook community, Misfit Makers. And if you want to take your business to the next level, check out our mentorship group, Misfit Makers Besties. All right, guys. So today I have this adorable geode mold and it goes on top of your wine bottle and it also holds two wine glasses one on each side i'm also using my pack of dried flowers and both of these things i got from maple street supply check her out she carries a bunch and I will link her down below along with the discount code. So first we're gonna start by filling the bottle bottom of our mold up. I started with 50 mLs, which was just enough to cover the bottom of my mold. I didn't really wanna fill this up, but you don't wanna put your dried flowers in first because when we demold this, I don't wanna feel those flowers. I want a nice smooth surface. So just enough to cover the bottom, which again, I used about 50 mls and i'm using medium viscosity from ccdiy if you're using a thicker epoxy you might not need as much after i let my epoxy sit in my mold for a little bit i then am going to go in and torch all those bubbles this step is really important guys because this is a clear mold and Yes, we're filling it in with flowers and flakes, but there's still gonna be a lot of clear sections. And if you have a lot of bubbles, unless that's the look you're going for, then those bu if you don't pop those bubbles, you they will be there. They will be there, I promise, guys. <laughs> I did end up with some micro bubbles, which you will see at the end, but this is for me. I should have taken the time and torched one more time, but I was impatient and I was dying to see the flowers added and I just, I couldn't wait. So that was my fault. Next, after you pop all of those bubbles, then I'm gonna start adding all of our dried flower pieces. So try to flatten out your flower pieces. We don't wanna add too many big pieces because we don't want our flowers sticking up over our mold because that very last layer, we want it to be epoxy and we want it to be nice and smooth. And if you have thick, flowers then they will poke up over your mold and you won't have a smooth bottom the mold i would say is probably about a fourth inch in width so you know what you're working with if you're looking to to buy to buy flowers online i would say it's about a fourth about a fourth inch deep so here i am just placing all of my flowers and my mold just any which way i am loving the way this turned out i the whole entire process this was a lot of fun i've never done something like this i have seen coasters made like this but i've never seen this mold made like this i'm sure i'm sure somebody out there has but i just thought this would be really cute and i can't wait to display it on my counter with my wine glasses and my bottle of wine so after I got all of my flowers and my mold, I also decided to add some gold foil flakes because I thought it would pair very nicely with these dried flowers. My gold flakes are from Mad Glitter, which I will also link down below. Now back to Maple Street Supply, guys. Go check out her shop. If you are a mold maker or if you're not a mold maker but you're wanting to start, she carries just about any mold that you could possibly be searching for. She also has the cute shaker molds, the badge reels, coasters. Oh, and then she carries all of the clay pieces that go inside the shakers and the molds, which I can't wait. You might be seeing a tutorial in the next couple weeks of a little shaker mold. I picked up all of these supplies last week at Midwest Tumblr Fest when I was shopping her booth. And let me tell you, it is a little overwhelming because she has so much. Love you, Kirsten. All right, so after you get your flakes and your flowers all added to your mold and you're happy with it, then I'm just gonna let this sit and let my epoxy fully cure. 
After your coat of epoxy is fully cured, we're then going to go in and fill our mold up the rest of the, the rest of the way with our epoxy. I mixed up 60 ml of medium viscosity and it wasn't quite enough. I then mixed another 15 and I had a little left over, so I would say about 70 ml will fill the rest of your mold up. Now, it also probably depends on how many flowers or whatever you're adding to your mold is in there. Obviously, the less flowers or the less items you have in your mold, the more epoxy you're going to use. So keep that in mind, but for me, to fill the rest of my mold up, I used 70 mLs, 50 the first time, 70 the second time. What is that? 120 mLs? Woohoo! I did the math! <laughs> See, most people would blooper that out, but mm-mm. Not just, I just leave all the bloopers in because let's keep it real, guys, For look, if I'm being honest. <laughs> After my epoxy is poured in, I'm going to let it level. I also have my mold sitting on this wood round because I wanted to be able to move it out of my workspace and I wanted to be able to work on something else. And this mold is very bendable. You see how big it is? So I didn't trust myself just picking it up like on a piece of paper. So keep that in mind as well. Ooh, she's so pretty. Now this is my favorite part coming up is the demolding process. I don't know why, but this is so satisfying. So you're just carefully going to flip your mold over and then just peel, pick one side and it should peel up for you very nicely. I am obsessed with the way this turned out. For a minute, I was thinking about adding micas or glitter, and I'm so glad I didn't because I just really like the, the effect that the clear epoxy with those dried flowers and flakes look. Now, if I were to make this again, I probably would try to fill it up even more, like those blank spaces, add some more foils or some more flowers, but I am in love with this. I'm very, very pleased with this being my first one. Again, I have a little bit, you know, some micro bubbles, but that's okay. So I'm going to demonstrate on how this works. It is really easy. You're just going to slip your wine bottle, slip this right over the top of your wine bottle, and it sits there nicely. And then on each side, there's a little groove for your wine glass. Now, my wine glasses that I have are huge and these wine glasses are very heavy so it was kind of pulling my mold down a little bit I feel like and I feel like my mold wasn't fully cured I probably should have let it set for a few more hours it wasn't gummy or anything but you know even after like like after 10 hours after it's cured but in a mold I feel like it's still bendable that's how it was so I should have just waited a little longer but again and patient. <laughs> but you get the drift. Look how freaking cute this is. Oh, I'm obsessed. I know exactly what I know what grandma's getting for Christmas. She's getting a bottle of wine with her a picture of her grandkids on it, two custom wine glasses, and this mold right here. Merry Christmas, Grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope this tutorial helped. Don't forget to go check out Maple Street Supply for all your mold and clay needs. And I hope it inspired you in some sort of way. I will see you guys later.